Hey guys, welcome to Entertainment Talk Nation. This is Rob. Uh, I just wanted to make this video real quick to give you guys or let you guys know that uh, pretty soon we're going to be airing a special interview here with the director of Godzilla 2014, Gareth Edwards. Now, some of you might have seen the small trailer on the channel update for the week, but I know not everybody watches that video, and it's very important to me as well as Mr. Edwards that people know about this interview because in this interview... He basically expresses uh, some things that we don't know in regards to the movie. And I'm not talking about exactly the plot, uh, how he's been treated at Warner Brothers, um, the, the struggle to try and please the fans, but also Warner Brothers keeping him from doing the things he wanted to do, um, his journey for the movie, uh, talking about the pressure of trying to make a very good movie for the, the fans. And uh, I'm just going to give you a quick uh, clip of one of the one of the uh, portions of the interview, and um, this interview is fairly long. You're probably going to see a couple of parts um, throughout, uh, you know, on the channel for the next week, but um, it was a very, very different experience, and I just want to let you guys know that because Mr. Edwards is under contract and because he can only be interviewed by people that Warner Brother chooses based on his contract he had to do this interview anonymously and he had to do this interview in disguise so that way if Warner Brothers questions him there's no legitimate proof that it's actually him under the mask and I was more than willing to be accept that and more than happy to oblige Mr. Edwards so without any further ado here's a short clip of the upcoming interview with Gareth Edwards here on ETN so um so, Mr. Edwards, let me get this straight. So, what you're saying is that while everything looked great on the outside, you know, you, you got the trailer that just came out, and, and um, or you have these wonderful actors you're acting with, you're basically saying that this actually has been one of the worst experiences in your life? I mean, am I accurate when I, when I ask you that question? Oh, completely accurate. I mean, it's it's been torture working for Warner Brothers, and... and having to keep the fans at bay from information that I actually want to share and then on top of that not being able to say anything at all in regards to the bullshit that's been out there about the movie Warner Brothers does treat me like a slave they've got the whip they've got the chain and I'm trying to break that chain so as you can see right there um you know, Mr. Edwards obviously gives you an idea of what it was like to work for Warner Brothers. He didn't even mention Legendary at that in that portion, but he does touch upon Legendary as well in the interview. Um, and again, you know, he he uh, we did a Google Hangout, and um, you know, because he's a very busy man, he's still in post production. And um, you know, as you can see, he the reason he chose ETN was because he knows that I that here at ETN I've been trying very very hard to call out all the bullshit regarding stories surrounding the movie and um because of his contractual obligation uh he had to make sure that he was not in any way shape or form uh seen you know without a mask because at least with a mask he can deny it was him because there's no evidence showing his face and I was more than happy to oblige him on that because no matter what, it's important to have him here. And it was very important for me to hear his side of the tale that nobody really knows about what this man has gone through to bring us one of the, possibly one of the best Godzilla movies ever created. So uh, I look forward to you guys watching the, uh, the interview and, and hearing your thoughts and your comments. And um, you can expect that interview to air here on ETN uh, in the coming week, probably sometime next week. And there'll be a couple of parts. Thank you and see you in the next video.